Is it on? Oh, yeah, what's going on, guys? Oh, so it tells you how much time you have left now. Oh, yeah. Samsung did an update on her. Might be Android. I don't know if it's Samsung Android. But look, though. So, um, my gonorrhea is gone. All right, this is my pills. Empty. All right, that drip is gone. And I will replace that drip with, with, with another drip. A better drip. All right, I bought a hat. Yeah, yeah. So I bought a Pistons hat. You know, I don't really watch basketball that much anymore because of 2020 shit. But, um... I was going to buy a Rebbings hat. I didn't want a white people to come and be talking about, hey, Finland and Sweden. I was like, I don't fucking know this shit like that. Like, I can still bush my way through an NBA conversation that I can't have a conversation at this point. You know, I was like, they start talking about uh, fucking, fucking uh, uh, Ovechkin and shit. I go, oh, yeah, the Capitals, right? You know, I, I can't bush my way through a hockey conversation or anything. But, um, yeah, yeah, I like the hat. The hat's pretty cool. I never really wore a hat before. I wore, like, um, I wore a few cap. I never really wore a cap outside, but um, I don't know. I'm dripped out right now. Just got we just got work on that face, then you know the whole top of the neck would be all right. But um, yeah. So what I want to talk about is diversity in video games. I think I've mentioned this before, or whatever. You know, so um, games as a whole have gotten a lot more diverse since I've been to prison. When I came out. Uh, it was a mainly white run, white developed, um, like uh uh. uh thing you know it was ma it was mainly white run might like it was white developers white players you know and of course they've now pivoted to being more diverse and we got to bring everyone in here because at the end of the day they look they're looking for more money and i was on v last night and someone said a quote that really put it into perspective and i've known this for a while i've seen it for a while but like that term really fuck really like opened it up for me um I'm forgetting the term. Uh, oh, so the term he said was locked in buyers, which is what a lot of you guys are. You've been playing since the 2000s, the 90s, the 90s kids, the 2000s kids. You know, you're locked in. You're still going to play it. You're going to buy it no matter what. That's a lot of the Pokemon fans are right now. They're locked in. Hey, I've been playing since red and yellow and blue, and I'm going to buy everything that you guys got, no matter what you guys do. You know, I'm, I, I, I saw the stuff from uh Dexit and all the other shit you guys were talking shit about. Um Sword and Shield looked like shit. The animations were shit and and people still bought the shit, you know? They can put out anything they want to and you guys will still buy it, you know? So um yeah you guys are locked in. And and lot and there's enough people still locked in from the 360 era, the PS2 era, that people are just still buying shit to buy shit, no matter what they do. Like I said before, um Microsoft being like they, them coming out on a tweet whoever the director is right now said we don't want toxic fans playing our games when 360 era that's all we were and that's and it was just the guy thing it was a uh, the dude bros you know the dude bros that played Madden and call of duty and shit you know those guys were the ones that kept your system afloat and now they pivoted to focusing on okay those guys are locked in they're still gonna buy our shit and no matter what we do so we're we're gonna start you know um focusing on women and uh minorities and uh minorities mean anything but white people you know and we're gonna start doing all this other all this other gay shit you know we're gonna like last month was horrible again they got a they got a gay controller now and shit which is which is weird you know um it, it's just a controller with, with the gay flag on it you know like they're like i said in the last video they're pushing that gay shit way too fucking much you know even though hey, i i i I I am the troon hunter, all right. I am the the troon slayer, all right. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, you know, I dibble and dabble, and and pussy stuff. But at the same time, it's like um, you guys are pushing that shit way too fucking much, you know. So me growing up black, you know, let's, let's go back to the thing of the video. So me growing up black, I would always um pick like the black character in the game. Let's talk about like look look at Crazy Taxi. There's the white guy. I think it's a Latin girl and like the black. I think she was in white or Latin, but she was the girl. There was always like a white character. It's like mainly white characters. It's always like one or two black guys, you know. Then there's always like a girl for like when your little sister wants to come over and play a game with you, like hey, play with you, you know, type of shit, you know. Or your mom or some shit want to play a game with you, whatever. There's always like a girl character, you know, the female representation of a game, you know. So, um, Crazy Taxi. You look at other games. Like I never played any of the Tony Hawk games. I'm sure, there's like one black guy in those games. I'm, I'm sure, like, you know, skateboarding is, like, now it's more of, they're trying to pivot it to, like, like that, too, you know, it was mostly, like, a white thing. Growing up, you know, um, we were easier to put into categories, like, black people did black shit, white people did white shit, you know, 
now since the internet has become a thing and people are getting to, into more hobbies and they have they're more they're getting more exposure into different like uh activities there's not just black and white things anymore not as like okay there's some black skateboards and shit you know i i live around a bunch of black skateboards i see them drive riding their skateboard and wearing vans and shit you know that's something you wouldn't see in the 2000s you know uh, i guess lil wayne has been doing great with uh promoting that type of thing you know i don't know if he's still doing it but i know he was the man he was the first one i ever saw do a skateboard thing black guy popular black guy whatever um yeah, so like, and we look at Power Rangers. That's the that's the best, um, that's the best example of diversity for American audiences. You look at Super Sentai shows; they're all Japanese people. You know, I know um, the one that they did the Thunderzords from. There's a Chinese lady. I think the Yellow Ranger was Chinese. I don't know if that counts as diversity. I mean, they're all slant eye motherfuckers and shit. You know, so um, I mean, un we wouldn't know. Like, I wouldn't know if someone told me that shit. But I guess they would probably know that she was a Chinese chick. Cause like. That that you know China Japan Korea, first glance you know, they they all look the same. They all got the slant eyes and you know they're all ye yellowish whitish you know. But um, to them they probably go hold on, you know uh, like the Family Guy joke you know <laughs> uh, just look up that Family Guy joke, the one China man in a Japanese business room boardroom whatever, um, yeah yeah so um, but the American version it's always like was always one black guy there's always a few or one or two girls, um. It was this truck. There's always one or two girls, you know. So, um, yeah, it's like, um, that's like, they had to do it. So, like, any anytime I played a Power Ranger game or some shit, I would always pick Zack, which was the black character, you know. Then the black character turned to Aisha. I never picked Aisha, but, you know, uh, what game? Oh, yeah, I, I never played the SNES games. I know, I don't remember the Super Nintendo game they had. Uh, I think Zack was still in that one, but I think Aisha was in the, the fighting game because that's when they had Ivan Ooze or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just remembering stupid shit. But yeah, um, that's that's the best representation of like how America is. America is more of a melting pot than these other countries, you know. You know, so they're trying to unpush that now with the other with you know global global homo agenda and shit. That's another video for another time. But yeah, is that good or bad? I'd say it's. I mean, we've always had it, but it's just like now it's kind of being pushed in a direction where it's like more annoying than it used to be. Like um, with the gay shit, there's a racing game. With trans flags in there. And in the settings, you could turn the trans flags on and off. I forgot what game it is. You can look this up. And I'm like, all right, now, now you're just like, now you're just pushing agenda. There's a difference between pushing agenda and just saying, hey, we're diverse. People, we have different, this character is gay. Okay, this character is just gay. Not just like, hey, you know, we have trans flags, you know, turn them on and off, but, you know, they're there. You know, that, that's, that's kind of going too far with it, you know, representation versus uh, pushing an agenda. You know, it's, it's gotten to the point where like uh there's a slope between each one, you know. But yeah, um some video essay guy can make a video about this, but I'm pretty sure they're all scared. The main guys are probably scared to even touch this kind of kind of topic. Um I'm on probation next next year. I'll get a PC and actually do some video essays and shit on on this type of shit. But, but yeah, um yes, yeah, this yeah, I like, I like I like this drip though. This drip is alright, alright. Better than that last drip. That last drip was horrible. So I took the price tag off, but I asked the guy in the store, I was like, hey man, my first my first ever buying a fitted. It's a snapback. Um, first time buying a fitted, and I was wondering, like, um, do I leave the stickers on? Do I take the stickers off? He goes, Oh no, man, it's all your pre preference and shit. So I don't know what this shit is. It's like it keeps the thing. I can't you can't even see it. It's a little paper. I guess it keeps it like so I'll I'll leave that in there, whatever. Um I got a parking ticket last night. I don't think I mentioned that or not. Parking, um, 15 feet of a fire hydrant. I'm like, man, come on, man. $45. I'm parking, I've been parking that thing for, for, for fucking three years. Now you gonna bring this goddamn ticket on me. It ain't even like near the end of the month. So yeah, I'm looking for no quota. This motherfucker was just bored. What, what time was it? 7.31? Oh, this piece. Yeah, 7.31 a.m. Piece of shit. Whole ass motherfucking shit, man. I don't fucking know, man. Yeah, so... There is a big, I mean, saying so, yeah, the lock, the locked in buyers, you know, a lot of you guys are locked in buyers. You're going to buy it regardless, you know, oh, new systems coming out, new systems coming out. You guys could have stopped this a long time ago. PS, I think 360 was still safe when the PS4 and the Xbox One came out is when they started doing this shit from what I can see from the outside in. And if you guys said, look, all right, look, you guys aren't, you guys aren't fucking with us no more. We ain't fucking with you. You guys could have stopped this from there. But a lot of you guys are too locked in. You're too like you're too much into that. 
I must consume, you know, state of mind and everything. And um, that's why they just do whatever, you know, they, they do whatever they want to do. So that's what it boils down to. You know, um, you guys could have stopped it, but I think it's too late now. There's too much, too much pandering than any, anything else. You know, the, the difference between pandering and like being authentic with it, you know, having a one black character is cool. But then like, you know, then you got to, I don't know. It's, it's a touchy subject. And like, you know, just a lot of the Twitter shit I see is annoying as hell. Like they want certain certain characters have certain types of type of hair certain type of you know dress and shit like come on just like there are you know black character you want to pick up the black character like i get it you know or uh are they or like what like invincible like they race mix the characters to make a black character you know like it's it's a all these medias these mediums they do type of shit like this you know yeah invincible i saw that um like like this one scene where it was like all white guys standing in a line when they were picking like the got to go to Earth Earth or whatever Earth, and um, and then the cartoon is like the one girl's one eye and she got that mohawk shit and everyone is like black and Latino and shit and I'm like oh, okay. you know it's like I don't know man people I I really don't know it's it's like you know I really don't know. Power Rangers is cool. I, I take it. It's like, what are they gonna have? Just all Asian people? Like, you know, you gotta, they gotta diverse it up. You know, like I said, hey, growing up, I was always like, I was always picking a black character for anything. Um, like when I played Tekken in an arcade. I would pick uh, what is it, Eddie, the guy that does the hip hop dancing and shit. You know, he was like, ooh, ooh, you know, I always picked the black character. You know, any game. You know, I got away from that back in high in high school. I started like, you know, doing other shit. You know, but um, yeah, you know, so let me get the fuck out of here. Look, all right, the drip is cool. That not that drip, this drip, because you can wear it different ways. Like I don't want to do all that weird shit, you know. But uh, yeah, you know, I probably wear a straight, straight head like that. All right, I got here. It's getting hot. I need some gas. It's going down now, which is great. It's going down. Uh, the Natalie saga, yeah, the the same Natalie arc. It's, it's coming to a dramatic conclusion. I've been with her like two to two times since uh, the last time I streamed with her. But it's just like I I go out there like at two in the morning, and usually I see her or I don't see her. But two in the morning is when I see her. I'm like it's too dark to be streaming and shit. And, uh, yeah, um, so the guy she's with is beating on her now and shit. She told me last time, and she said, with, like, full fist and shit. I'm like, hey, I want to come out here and you be, you, you lay, you laying out in an in in alley somewhere. He didn't dump you off in the alley after, like, knocking, knocking you side of the head. I'm like, it's, it's got to come down to something, lady. You know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. You want to get, you want to get clean or not? Hey, I don't know what, what's waiting for you back there other than hands and feet. All right. I, you got hugs and kisses or hands and feet, you know, which, which one do you want? You know, it's, it's to that point, you know, so I'm, I'm fighting that cracking cocaine like a motherfucker. I'm, I'm, I'm against the ropes. I'm like, fuck you crack. It was like, move, move, fuck you. She's ours. I'm like, no cocaine. Stop. You know, and then heroin comes in. Heroin's knocking me out like a motherfucker. I'm, I'm like, it's two on one right here. I'm, I'm like, come on, y'all get the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? So who knows, man? All right. It's fucking hot. So save Natalie Ark is coming to a dramatic conclusion. Who will win in the battle against drugs and clean? I got paid this goddamn parking ticket. My second parking ticket in my life. Parking 15 feet from a fire hydrant. This motherfucker was bored. Ain't no fire, man. There wasn't no fire going on at the time. If it was, all right, I would have moved. Just just yell. And I came out there and moved my car. It wasn't in that much. All right, they got a long ass hose. All right, you need to collect the hose. You don't need the fire hydrant, fire truck next to the goddamn fire hydrant. You got the street right there, man. All right, I'm going to get out of here. It's fucking hot.